Hey guys, the aim of this video is to use method of elimination to solve this simultaneous equation problem. So what method of elimination does is when you subtract one equation from the other one, you end up deleting one variable. So this is more clear if I just go through the example. So in this example, we will be trying to get rid of the y's. So what you want to do is make it so that the coefficient in front of the y is exactly the same as the other equation. So in this case, a common factor would be 6. So we multiply equation 1 by 3, so that 2y times 3 is 6y, and we multiply equation 2 by 2, so that negative 3y turns into 6y. So what we end up getting is 3x times 3 is 9x, plus 2y times 3 is 6y, equals to 7 times 3, which is 21. And for equation 2, we have 5x times 2 is 10x, minus 3y times 2 is negative 6y, and equals to 37 times 2, which is 74. As you can see, now we have two 6y's over here, if we do equation 1 plus equation 2, we end up with 9x plus 10x is 19x, and 6y plus negative 6y is 0y, so we ignore that, and we're left with 21 plus 74, which is 95. So now we're left with 19x equals to 95, and we divide both sides by 19 we get x equals to 5. And now because we know x equals to 5, we can put it back into equation 1 or equation 2. So I'll put it into equation 1. We have 3 times 5. So our 5 comes from my x, plus 2y. The y is what we're trying to find now, equals to 7. This is equation 1 from up here. So we have 15 plus 2y equals to 7, which is 2y minus 15 to both sides is negative 8, therefore y equals to negative 4. So now we have found our x and y, x equals to 5 and y equals to negative 4. And this is how you use the method of elimination to solve simultaneous equations.